Hi YouTube. So today I want to talk about uh, basically the idea of the liberty of th vaccines. I'm off the back, I don't agree that people should be forced to get vaccines. Perhaps if they're entering a private organization, that's another story. But if people are not in these private situations, <clears throat> the public sphere, I don't believe people should be forced to get vaccinations. Now, at first, when I say this, people get the idea that I don't care about health or that I have a, a misconstrued notion or a, a understanding of what vaccines are. No, I have no problems with vaccines. I have been I have had vaccines in the past. My only problem is when the government forces the, its citizens to take vaccines. I find that to be uh, an overstepping of boundaries where the person the person's autonomy has been compromised. So, in this society, we are founded in this society in America. We're founded in the idea of liberty. And although we don't do it ideally or perfectly, it's still a cornerstone of the American belief system and per perception of itself, Americans' perception of themselves. Liberty, freedom, these words are always used when talking about the United States and how people feel about it. So, knowing how important freedom is, I find it hard to, to, to even get why people would accept a forced medical procedure on people. First, they feel that it's as if if the person does not get vaccinated, they are more likely to catch a certain disease and therefore spread it. But what I say is, well, if you take the vaccine, theoretically, you should not get the illness. You are supposedly protected. So as you are protected, what do you have to worry about? You see? The person takes their own, takes a risk, and that's part of being an autonomous human being, is taking risks and accepting the consequences. So, what I really just don't understand is why some people feel that the vaccinations must be forced. I hear sometimes that there are certain people who cannot be vaccinated, and therefore you put them at risk. But at the same time, if a person cannot be vaccinated, it seems as if their immune system is already comparable to begin with. And so this kind of person would actually take many precautions throughout their life. Yes, it's a sad situation, but there are people with medical medical conditions that require a uh, constant and a pervasive level of care, which the average person cannot fathom, really, <clears throat> unless they have someone like that who, who has sick, a sickness like that in their family. So knowing this, the person is not like anybody else. They're going to already have a restrictive environment to grow up and live in. Also, there's something called herd immunity, which means that if a certain level of the population gets, in, gets uh, vaccines, the majority of the people who cannot get vaccines will be protected anyway. This is because if most people or a certain number of people are vaccinated, this creates pockets for where the disease, when it starts to spread, cannot get out of. So if you can imagine it as a bunch of polka dots 
and we have some two different colors, some sick and some vaccinated people, or three, and people who are not sick but not vaccinated, we can see how if most of the group is vaccinated, the dots that are the disease cannot spread out because they reach blocks and they fall into pockets. See? So, and, and for many of them, it's around 60 to 70, sometimes maybe lower than that, percent of the population that needs it. So you don't need to have everyone to do it. So in that case, people who are vulnerable and cannot get vaccines would be will be protected. So I really just don't understand. I don't want to get dystopian, but the idea of forced injections from the government does not sound very savory or, or appealing. As I said before, I have no problems with vaccines. What I do have a problem with is when the government forces people to do things when it's not to, uh, you know, when they're not in, in interrupting anyone else's life in any way. So, if, you know, I, I, I invite anyone to come along and uh, give me their reason why they feel that everyone should be forced to get vaccines or if you feel differently I invite you as well to just explain your point of view so we can uh, keep this conversation going because I would really like to know what are the reasons that people abide, uh, people believe to justify forced vaccin vaccination at the moment I feel that this is absolutely egregious of an idea and somewhat or basically it is a tyrannical maneuver uh, program uh, so again I, I invite anyone to um, uh, give me their thoughts on this topic and you know I'm open to discussion I'm, I'm not open so much into debate although I might debate you if I feel your points are not sufficient or correct or accurate or, and, you know, or anything else like that. Uh, so uh, again, I invite all of you to come along and uh, get to the bottom of this vaccine issue. So uh, we'll keep it at that. It's around eight minutes already. So. Um, I want to thank you all for listening and, and watching. I mean, it's just listening. This is one picture up on the screen. And um, have a good one.